Gotta get my knife. Welcome everybody to the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination. Today is a follow-up video to the Moonside Design neon lighthouses, those sort of like lava lamp type light bars. We are reviewing Moonside Design's other product, which is called the Moonside Lamp One. Boom! And here it is now. This is what we're looking at with the Moonside Lamp One right there. It comes with a power brick, USB-C power cable, and a little setup guide QR code. As you can see, it is a full 360 coverage. No markups, no logos, no nothing. So there is a thin line running through the middle. On the bottom, we have the logo and where the power plugs in. Let's get our first power on impression. It's plugged in. Okay, there it goes. That little line around the center pretty much disappears when this is on. I have the Neon Lighthouse right here, actually. For comparison, they both appear to be too bright, so I'm gonna go on into the app, down to like 2%. Computer, turn off key light. So now we've adjusted the brightness of the lamps for the camera to better pick them up. They're both at about 3% here. It does have a really cool uh, aesthetic. This is your brightness control right here, as you can see, and we can set it to any color. Green, blue. Of course, it has all of the regular white light, so this is that soft yellow. They call it bedtime, relax, bright, energetic. But of course, everybody's favorite is the different presets you can set this to. So this is Nightfire here. This one's called My Moon. Interesting. Blue Lava. Late OJ. So now both of these are actually set to the same preset. Now what's really cool about the Moonside design is, yes, it does have a ton. This one's called Rainbow Fire, which is a rather unique uh, preset. It's loaded with presets, as you guys can see here. It also has the music modes. Personally, I would just use them with the built-in presets. And a lot of people have been asking me, well, how does the Moonside Design Lamp 1 stack up to the similarly shaped Goviara table lamp, which I've also done a very in-depth video on. Let's go grab the Goviara now. So side by side, holding them in my hands, this is what we're looking at for both products. You can see the size different. This one has no branding and it is pure light all the way around, although it is a little bit smaller than the Goviara. So both of these products are now side by side and displaying their fire modes. The Govi Aura has the Govi ecosystem, the Govi app. It's a bigger ecosystem, more developed. I think it's really gonna come down to what do you like more aesthetically? This smaller design, it's, it's very clean, there's nothing in the way. Or do you like the bigger, brighter table lamp design with the Govi Aura? The Govi Aura also seems to have better music reactivity modes with a ton of different styles. Let's see, let's, let's max out the brightness here on both of these. Wow, this is a surprise. Okay, so for the brightness tests, I actually did end up doing more technical tests. What is the brighter light? And we can see through the waveform monitor here that the Govi in this particular mode is a bit brighter. So for those of you who don't know how this uh, chart works here, it, basically in the most simplest way, the higher up reaching values uh, the brighter the light. So for example, if we go to the fire mode, we can see that the Moonside Lamp 1 is outputting more light because it is reaching higher, it's brighter through the waveform monitor here. Again, here where the Moonside Lamp is outputting no light, 
you can see it's pretty low on the uh, the waveform monitor here. So that's just showing you how the waveform monitor works. So with a basic understanding of how this chart works here, now we are seeing just with both on max settings in the tungsten, the Govi is putting out a lot more light. Now when we go to the daylight white, which is gonna flip over to now, we can see that it is more even in terms of the brightness. However, the Govi is a more um, even, like it's putting out more light overall because on more sides of the lamps, it's it's putting out the same amount of, of, of brightness here. Whereas on the Moonside Lamp 1, it starts to fall off a little bit, um, meaning it, it's not entirely even that lighting. It's pretty close in terms of the brightness and what it's putting out. And it's a cleaner light. It's a more accurate white light. The color of white, the true daylight white, it's more, it has like a bluish tinge to it on here. The Govi Aura also has these top buttons here. Whereas with the Moonside Lamp 1, there is an on off button at the bottom. But if you wanna control anything else, you'll need to use the app. Okay, so after having done all the tests between the Govi Aura and the Moonside Lamp 1, it basically boils down to this, my final thought here. Yes, the Govi Aura is the better made product from a manufacturing standpoint. It has higher quality LEDs. It has brighter all around light. It has a larger ecosystem. It seems more reliable. However, does that mean you should buy the Govi Aura over the Moonside Lamp 1? Even though the Govi Aura does have everything it has, it's just not as fun as the Moonside Lamp 1. The Lamp 1, it just has a unique aesthetic with the 360 light coverage around the entire thing that's visible. It's almost like a modern day lava lamp with all its neat designs and patterns. It's certainly got some unique presets you can load into it. And I think it looks cooler. It looks more interesting. It looks more unique. If you're looking for something from Govi that fits into that ecosystem, that has physical buttons, that's perhaps more practical, maybe go with the Govi Aura or the Govi product. But if you want something more fun, more aesthetic, more funky, perhaps, then take a serious look at the Moonside Lamp 1. It is, to me, the more interesting product. If you are interested in the Govi Aura, I have done a detailed video, which should be popping up somewhere now for you to check out. This is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination.